we are going to start our next class now so i am going to share the screen with you okay so we have read about the constituent test three test we talked about number 1 was uh, last was coordination second was phrases uh, pronoun substitution by pronoun and first one was uh, wh question word so now we should move forward and we should talk about kinds of phrases so in kinds of phrases the very first kind that we have got is noun phrase so page number 34 of your book we have evidence for the existence of phrasal categories we say that phrases are projected from lexical categories and hence we have phrases such as np noun phrase vp verb phrase pp prepositional phrase and so on as before we use distributional evidence to classify each type and then specify rules to account for the distributions we have observed so the very first kind of phrase that we are going to talk about now is called noun phrase consider 64 dash liked ice cream dash liked ice cream so we can say ali liked ice cream ahmed liked ice cream aisha liked ice cream she liked ice cream they liked ice cream so the expressions that can occur happen in the blank position here are once again limited the kinds of expressions that do appear here include mary mary liked ice cream i i liked ice cream you you liked ice cream the students liked ice cream the tall students liked ice cream the students from lahore liked ice cream the students who have come from karachi liked ice cream if we look into the sub constituents of these expressions we can see that each includes at least an n a noun phrase and forms an np noun phrase this leads us to posit the following rule np is equal to determiner determiner r determiner is a n determiners are a n or d or there is an optional that is noun phrase can have noun it can have adjective it can have prepositional phrase or a sentence as well so let us read this rule 66 np can have determiner that is a n or d it can have an adjective a n noun pp prepositional phrase and s sentence this rule characterizes a phrase and is one example of a phrase structure rule ps rules phrase structure rule is called ps rules the rule indicates that 
an np can consist of an optional determiner an np can consist of an optional determiner a n or d are optional any number of optional adjective adjectives are also optional and their number can also be optional an obligatory n but noun is must in np without noun you cannot have a noun phrase so it is an obligatory n and then an optional pp again prepositional phrase is optional or a modifying s modifying s 8 to license an example like the very tall man we need to make adjective as ap adjective phrase for simplicity we just use the former in the in the rule the slash indicates different options for the same place in the linear order linear order the order is linear these options in the np rule can be represented in a tree structure like this look at this tree structure can you see 67 np so np can have determiner which is optional adjective which is again optional n which is a noun but this is not optional n is obligatory and pp prepositional phrase or s modifying sentence they all are optional except n n is obligatory once we insert appropriate expressions in the pre terminal nodes this is n these are two pre terminal nodes adjective is another node determiner is another node so determiner and a are pre terminal nodes and pp and s are post terminal nodes is this clear pre terminal and post terminal nodes we will have well formed np's and the rule will not generate the following np's the whistle tune this rule does not allow us to create such type of phrase the easily student so easily student is not a noun phrase this is wrong the my dog the my dog is wrong so we can have a noun phrase determiner adjective noun obligatory and post terminal pp and s so these are the ingredients or elements of an np do you have any question here so ji as well okay ji i i'll explain again no issue no problem let me share the screen with you and then i'll explain again can you see the screen now yes sir okay now look at this np the rule says rule is here on the previous page np is equal to determiner and after determiner adjective can come now determiner and adjective they are optional but n noun noun is obligatory it is compulsory without noun you cannot have a noun phrase and after noun prepositional phrase can come or modifying sentence can come which will tell us about noun which will tell us about noun look here i is a noun you noun students noun these students these students so determiner is coming before these students the tall students so determiner and adjective they are coming before noun and the students from seoul from seoul is prepositional phrase from lahore the students who came from karachi this is who came from karachi modifying sentence so then we have got np again explained here through a diagram that np 
this is n n is at the place of number 3 it is third node first node is determiner a n or the some they can come and second node is adjective adjective can come here the tall student the tall students the tall students in the class in the class is prepositional phrase so in the class modifying noun again so that is pp so something which is coming before noun is pre determinal pre terminal nodes and something which is coming after noun is post terminal nodes is this clear now it can be anything that comes before noun and it's called pre determinal like uh, no can anything be anything anything is wrong there can be only two things which can come before noun first is determiner it can come before noun second is adjective it can come before noun anything cannot come before noun easily student is wrong easily is adverb adverb cannot come before noun so only determiner and adjective can come before noun and after noun prepositional phrase or sentence modifying sentence can come so something which is coming before noun is pre determine pre terminal nodes and which is coming after is post terminal nodes is this clear now we have talked about kinds of nouns and in kinds of nouns we have talked about noun phrase first of all so noun phrase can have four nodes third is a noun third node is a noun which is compulsory without noun there can be no noun phrase so before noun two things can come determiner and adjective the tall students students is noun tall adjective the determiner the tall students in the classroom in the classroom is prepositional phrase so something which is coming after the noun is post terminal and something which is coming before the noun is pre terminal notes so in noun phrase we can have four things determiner adjective noun and prepositional phrase these four things can make a noun phrase and among these uh, noun phrases we can have nouns which are compulsory because without nouns we cannot have a noun phrase and the other things are optional determiner is optional adjective is optional and post terminal node prepositional phrase or modifying sentence is optional but noun itself is obligatory is compulsory in noun phrase is this clear now any question excuse me sir what about pronoun pronoun when pronoun is coming pronoun will come in the place of a noun pronoun will come in the place of a noun so that is part of noun phrase that will be a noun phrase but only pronoun will be there he she it they them no modification will be there over for example the students in the classroom will be replaced by they the students in the classroom were making noise so simply you can say they were making noise so here they is replacing the students in the classroom so noun phrase will be substituted with the help of a pronoun only or pronoun can be only one word is this clear now any other question so it is very important that you should revise all these things at home you should read the book or the notes that i have given to you and after reading okay you can come in the classroom and still if you have any question any problem you can ask your questions are welcome okay so thank you very much uh